my brothers and sisters. I hope that all goes well with you today. Pray that the Lord is continuing to bless you in ways that you stand in need. Welcome again to our noonday uh, Bible uh, nugget session. We called it uh, uh, the manner, daily manner. So we're going to continue with that expression. So today I want to direct your attention to another part of Acts chapter 5, uh, verses 17 through 26. I will read the passage first. Then the high priest and all his associates, who were members of the party of the Sadducees, were filled with jealousy. They arrested the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. Go stand in the temple courts, he said, and tell the people all about this new life. At daybreak, they entered the temple courts, as they had been told, and began to teach the people. When the high priest and his associates arrived, they called together the Sanhedrin, the full assembly of the elders of Israel, and sent to the jail for the apostles. But on arriving at the jail, the officers did not find them there. So they went back and reported, we found the jail securely locked with the guards standing at the door. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. On hearing this report, the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests were at a loss, wondering what this might lead to. Then someone came and said, look, the men you put in jail are standing in the temple courts teaching the people. At that, the captain went with his, with his officers and brought the apostles. They did not use force because they feared that the people would stone them. What a mighty God we serve. Isn't, isn't it amazing that the apostles were doing such marvelous work? Folk were being healed. I'm sure some folk were being saved. The church was very active in the lives of the people. But now then there's that other power structure. The religious leaders, the Sanhedrin Council, which was composed of normally 71 persons, the high priest being the chair of that group. And normally it was uh, 71, but sometimes it arose to 100. And they were, in a sense, rep responsible for the religious activities of the community. And so when they heard about what the apostles were doing, they became furious. They were upset. But most of all, they were jealous because they realized that what the apostles were doing in terms of providing for people and healing people, they were not able to do themselves. And as we look further at these verses in Acts 5, 17 through 26, we notice something uh, outstanding happens uh, here. Because the Sanhedrin council and the high priests were jealous of what was going on, they had the apostles arrested and jailed. Question for you, when was the last time you've been arrested for telling folk about Jesus. Don't answer that now. Just think about it. So they were jailed. Well, what happened during the night? During the night, the word says that an angel of the Lord came and opened 
the doors of the jail and let the apostles out. Notice now that the guards apparently uh, had no idea what was going on. They were just standing at their post, perhaps in a stupor, we don't know. So uh, when the Sanhedrin Council met the next morning, they sent the guards to bring the apostles uh, to the hearing. But when the guards arrived, the jail was secure, the doors were locked, but when they searched the jail, the apostles were not there. And in their minds, they were wondering, what is this going to lead to? What do we see here? We see, I believe, the power of Almighty God operating in the lives of his apostles, protecting them from all hurt, harm, and danger. So it suggests to us, you know, that Satan is always on the prowl, seeking whom he may devour. And certainly he's operating in the life of the early church. As we continue to look at these verses, uh, we notice that uh, uh, by the time uh, the Sanhedrin Council met, someone came and told them that the, the apostles were down in the temple courts teaching as the angel had commanded them to do. So they were doing the work of God in spite of the uh, desires or wishes of the high priest and the Sanhedrin council. And we're going to see later on now uh, the apostles uh, statement to the high priest and to the Sanhedrin council about what they should do in serving God as opposed to not serve man but to serve God excuse me so we're going to pause here until next time and take a look at another portion of scripture uh, based upon uh, chapter 5 of the book of Acts in the meantime have a good day in the Lord.